G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. First of all, I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. And I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and got spoilt and treated and given lots of love. I'm up at the Bungado Park, just south of Perth in Western Australia. It's a regular place I come, which uh, got some nice walks up here. I've made some videos of some of the walks and I've got a few more to make still to come. Just give you an update on the channel and what's happening. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for subscribing and supporting me along my journey. Watch my videos, uh, liking them, and leaving comments. It's uh, a big thing to see some fantastic comments going up there from some fantastic people. And I also want to thank each and every one. Who isn't subscribed go and subscribe and click that notification bell also but I'd like to thank all of you too for following my channel and liking and commenting and watching my videos from each and every one of you this is much appreciated and again I thank you as you can tell I live in Western Australia and over the last week we've had temperatures going up to one day at 47.1 or 46.1 or 47.1 and the rest of the days were in the sort of low to mid 40s and that's centigrade so it hasn't really been sensible to get out bush walking and do in multi-day walks the fire risk being so high about temperature and the landscape drying up so quick in areas. By the end of March hopefully I will be getting back out on the Bibbulmun track to film some more videos of the Bibbulmun track. Uh, the day-to-day -day shelter to shelter, the towns. Uh, I will also be making other videos between now and then, doing some review videos. But each week I've got at least one video that's ready to go live on YouTube between now and the beginning of April. Uh, most of them are of the Bibbulmun Track, the walking, the shelters, the towns, uh, prepping what I do. I've got some videos I'm going to be making about the pack I've been using, which is from Helicon Techs, which is their Summit backpack, which all I can give you a tip is I like it so far. I've done almost 500 kilometers with that pack, and most of the time has been close to at its maximum weight, testing it, and when I'm actually out doing the multi-days, it's been fully loaded with what's needed to do four or five day walks. Oh, I've got a few food reviews coming up too, but I might move them to Wednesdays and just leave Saturdays for the main videos. Some of the videos to come, uh, like I said, of what I've used is the backpack, the snug pack Special Forces bivvy, which I've used quite a bit over the last six to twelve months, the snug pack jungle bag, which is a sleeping bag with a built-in bog net. I uh, would love to do a review about that. I've used that over the winter time and coming into the summer. Uh, so I'd love to do the review of that now, of what I've done so far. Then I want to use it again over the summer, uh, over the autumn, stroke fall, and do a second review of how it's coped in that situation. Whether their comfort rating was accurate or not will be included in that video or then videos. The quality, blah blah, all that sort of things that normal reviews do. Uh, what else have I got? Let me think. Oh, a, a pillow. I had the same pillow for about 10 years and the cat decided he wanted to play with it and 
put a hole in it so I've had to buy another one the same and I'll show you a slight difference or I'll point out a slight difference between the older version and the new version of the pillow uh, and that will include how I've progressed with the pillow over the I think about a good 10 years nearly of using that pillow uh, and how I adjusted it to suit me so that's another video to come uh, I'm trying to think oh I've got some more gear to review uh, I've got some more um, there will be Helicontex gear to review um, I've got some new autumn goods gear which is an Australian survival stroke outdoor gear company uh, to check their stuff out use it and do some reviews of that or them because it's about four pieces of their equipment I've got uh, I think one of those will be a double one it'll be the two together if they work together I think what else I've got planned but yeah I'll, I'll be back out walking on the Bilbo track hopefully by the end of March before all the videos of the Bilbo track run out because I want to keep those coming regular I don't want too much of a gap between them if any my Wednesday videos of the walks because of the temperatures at the moment that we're getting up to and the dryness and it coming into fire season or being in fire season I'm not going to be able to get out as much to make videos about local walks but where possible I will and like I kind of just mentioned then I'm going to do my best to keep the uh, weekend the Saturday videos for the main videos and the Wednesday videos for the uh, re not the review the food reviews and the these short walks and local walks ones uh, I don't really want to stop making the videos for the Wednesday but I have to concentrate more on the Saturday ones to have the main video as good as I can make it myself and hopefully they're getting better for each and every one of you yeah, I'm actually out now doing a 10 kilometer walk and the temperature is about, feels of it's about 9 o'clock in the morning now I think we're getting into the high 20s close to the 30 degrees centigrade and I think the high of today is going to be about 36 so I'll continue walking and talking at the same time what have I noticed over the last 12 months uh, in myself even with everything that's been going on the last couple of years I've done my best to get out keep physical, keep healthy as possible, still got a bit more of the tummy to lose. <laughs> but one thing I have noticed, the more I walk, the longer distances I push myself to do, um, the easier they become, the less out of breath I get, the less my body aches, less my feet burn the only time I really burn is when I'm doing the multi-day hikes on the Bilberman track and I'm carrying more weight in the uh, pack and in the hilly areas but once it's not so up and down some of the uh, hills like on the Bilberman track my feet don't hurt as much but again climbing the hills I'm not stopping so often I'm not getting out of breath I'm able to continue walking and talking I do get out of breath a bit but not enough that it's stopping me from walking and talking it's not getting to the point where it feels like my heart's going to blow out my chest or it's going to blow out the jugular either side of my neck so yeah even if you can only get 500 meters in walk around your local park do it I have started even on my day hikes not today because I've got the little Tasmanian Tiger Essentials um, 6 litre pack this one is day pack 
And I think this one is uh, military spec in the way it's been built and everything. So it's real. One of my first Tasmanian Tiger packs. Actually, I've got another one of theirs, which I've had now for close on three years or more. And that's a Raid Mark III. And that's a 52 litre pack. Now that, I have to do make a video of now. That has got so many features, but not too many features. It is a heavy pack, but when you're wearing it and carrying it, it's not a heavy pack. So, there's two things about it. You'll probably understand when I make the actual video itself. But that video is not going to be a short five or six minute one. Because there's so much for that pack. Uh, it's worth spending time to do a more detailed review of it. So the actual video might be about 15-20 minutes in length. Maybe even longer, I don't know yet. But I'll probably be spending a day or two making that video to get to show you everything about that pack. That is... I can't keep saying it. I, I like that pack and that's one I won't be getting rid of, I don't believe, ever. Uh, what else? Let's think, what else is there? Yeah, going back to the fitness and health. Yeah, it, when I, even when I go out walking mainly, I carry, I've started to carry more often than not a full load as if I was doing five or six days out on a big woman track. So when I do get out there, it's not going to be a smack on my back or my hips or my legs with that extra weight. My legs and everything's acclimatised to carrying that weight. So if you're looking at doing a long distance walk, an end to end or a through hike or a multi day hike, each time you go out, build your weight level up to what you'll be carrying over them four or five days or more and practice with that weight each time you go out whether it's 500 meters one kilometer two miles 10 miles 25 kilometers use that weight to practice because if like i said build up to that gradually to get used to it but because as soon as you get out on track for the multi days that you've been training for with the full pack full load because you've been training with it, your body's going to be used to that weight, you're going to be acclimatised to that weight and it's not going to be a shock to you because that's one of the biggest things, a lot of people go out with a day packs like this they learn to walk 10, 15, 20 kilometres and they think they can do it so they throw the full pack on to do 5 or 6 days or 7 days on the Bilbo track and within a couple of kilometres they regret it, they cannot stand it, they hate it, they are hurting, they're aching, they're so uncomfortable and it's not what they expected. Where if you build yourself up in your training and you get used to that weight, then you get out there on your track, you'll just love it out there. Most of the time now when I'm walking because I'm used to the pack weight and the way it sits and I've learnt how to load it where it suits me it's a lot more enjoyable being out there walking or hiking, bush walking, all them things. It's like today, I've, even though it's only a small pack, I've got extra water in there to make it heavier. I'll throw one of my tarps in there to give it some weight, throw in one of my hammocks and all the straps to give it some weight. Uh, yeah, throw in a few bits and bobs in the pack just so I don't lose that sense of carrying something on my back. Now, I digressed a bit, but I think that bit was important for people who are looking into getting into hiking or bushwalking, that training side of it. I may actually sit down and go through and actually make a video of training routine. Uh, and as some of you may know, uh, my knees have gone on me a couple of times, and the exercises I was given to strengthen the muscles up to support my knees. I'll make a video of all that, or the adding it all in, and the easier way, or a way I see 
as easy to get into hiking or get back into hiking. So until then, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please go down below and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell next to it. Click the uh, select all next to that bell. Hit the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.